pleasure seeker who gives himself to the distractions, not exerting where exertion is needed, gives up his own welfare and envies those intent in meditation. Do not cling to the pleasant or the unpleasant. To see the unpleasant and to not see the pleasant are both painful. Therefore, hold nothing dear to yourself, for separation from the loving object is painful. No shackles for him who neither likes nor dislikes. From attachment springs grief, from attachment springs fear. No grief for one who is free from attachment. How then can there be fear? From affection springs grief, from affection springs fear. No grief for one who is free from affection. How then can there be fear? From delight springs grief, from delight springs fear. There is no grief for one who is free from delight. How then can there be fear? From lust springs grief, from lust springs fear. There is no grief for one who is free from lust. How then can there be fear? From craving springs grief, from craving springs fear. There is no grief for one who is free from craving. How then can there be fear? People hold him dear who is consummate with virtue and insight, who is established in the law, truthful and does what he should be doing. He in whom the desire for that which is not expressible has risen, whose mind is full of that desire, whose thoughts are not distracted by sensual passions, he is named bound upstream. When you do good and leave this world to the world beyond, your good deeds receive you like kinsmen that welcome a dear one. Give up anger, renounce pride and go beyond all fetters. There is no suffering for him who is detached from his name and form, who calls nothing his own. He who controls his rising anger like a master charioteer that controls his chariot, him I call a true charioteer, others just hold the reins. Let a man overcome anger by compassion, let him overcome the wicked by good, let him overcome the miser by generosity. Let him overcome the liar by truth. By telling the truth, by not getting angry, by giving when asked, even if you have little, by these three steps one can reach the presence of gods. The gentle sages, their body ever restrained, attain the changeless state where there is no grief. Keen on nirvana, those who always stay awake and train by day and night, their defilements disappear. O oh, Atula, this is an ancient practice indeed, not just from today. They find fault with him who remains silent. They find fault with him who talks much. They find fault with him who speaks in moderation. There is none in the world who is immune to blame. There never was, nor will be, nor is there now, a person wholly praised or wholly blamed. That man whom the wise always praise because he is endowed with both discernment and virtue is of flawless character. Who would find fault with such a one? He is like a coin of gold from the river. Even the gods praise him, even Brahma praises him. Let a man guard against the anger erupting in the body. Let him restrain his body. Abandoning bodily misconduct, let him practice virtue in his deeds. Let a man guard against the anger erupting in speech, let him restrain his speech. Abandoning verbal misconduct, let him practice virtue in his speech. Let a man guard against the anger erupting in mind, let him restrain his mind. Abandoning mental misconduct, let him practice virtue with his mind. Controlled in bodily action, speech and thought, well controlled are the wise. Like a withered leaf you are now, the minions of Yama are near. You stand at the door of your departure, you have made no provision for the journey. Make an island for yourself, work quickly and become wise. With impurities all blown away, unblemished, you'll reach the divine realm of the noble ones. 
you are now at the end of your time. You are heading closer to the king of death, Yama. No resting place for you on the way, yet you have made no provision for the journey. Make an island for yourself, work quickly and become wise. With impurities all blown away, unblemished, you will not go through birth and death again. Like a smith that removes impurities of silver, let a wise man remove his defilements step by step, little by little, moment by moment. As the rust arising from iron itself corrodes into it, the sinner's own evil deeds bring the sinner to an evil destination. Not reciting defects the prayers, not repairing defects the house, sloth defects the body, heedlessness defects the watchman. Unchastity defects a woman, stinginess defects a benefactor, evil deeds defect a person in this world and the next. But the worst of all defects is ignorance, O oh monks. Destroy this one defect and become whole. Easily lives the shameless person, cunning as a crow, slandering, backbiting, arrogant and corrupt. Difficult is the life of the modest ones who always seek purity, who are disinterested, discerning, chaste and full of insight. One who kills, lies, takes what is not given to him, goes to another man's wife and is addicted to intoxicating drinks, right here in this world, digs up the root of his own life. Know this, O oh good man, evil things are difficult to control. Let not greed and wickedness drag you into misery. People give according to their faith or to their pleasure. If one becomes discontented with the food and drink given to others, one does not attain meditative absorption either by day or night. But he in whom this discontent is fully destroyed, rooted out and made extinct, he enjoys absorption by day and by night. There is no fire like lust, there is no seizure like anger, there is no trap like delusion, there is no torrent like craving. Easy it is to see the faults of others, difficult it is to see our own. You winnow others' errors like chaff, but conceal your own like a cheat. With constant focus on others' faults, he who delights in finding faults in others increases his own weaknesses. He is far from destroying his weaknesses. There is no track in the sky. There is no true monk outside the Sangha. Mankind is smitten with objectification. Buddhas are devoid of objectification. There is no trail in the sky. There is no true monk outside the Sangha. Nothing survives in this conditioned world. The Buddhas are always the same.